Hello, welcome to Rider's Ring Crochet. We are in another one of our little zoo animals, and this one is my rabbit. Um, I also have a bunny out there, that's why I don't call this one a bunny. Um, if you're interested in this and you haven't watched part one, you need to go to the link below. Part one is going to be the entire body. All of the bodies of the 11 animals are exactly the same. It's just going to be what you do with the ears, eyes, snout, dress, pants, hair stuff, accessories is going to change that up. Um, this can be a boy. It doesn't have to be a girl. Um, there are other videos that uh, will show you how to do pants if you want to jump in. The videos are very short um, because all we're doing is just these couple things. We're just crocheting a couple things here. And um, so you can jump into one if you'd like to, to make this one a boy and put on the pants or the little overalls. So um, this uh, pattern is originally from Crochet Pattern Goods. And I will go ahead and put that link down as well. Um, if you want to purchase the pattern, that's the Etsy link. Um, some of the stuff I do is not matching exactly with the pattern. Um, I don't want you to have it and get confused if you're going, oh, this woman's crazy. Um, but um, I just kind of like the way certain things look and how they feel in my hand. And so sometimes I just change them up. I like to change it all up by itself. So, well, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and just start with the dress um, right now. And we're going to work our way up. How about that? I am using... Um, every one of these videos is probably just going to have this orange yarn in it. This is just my, I'm trying to get rid of yarn and all I'm doing is these little pieces and I'm not creating the entire body. So, um, there's no reason in me making the exact colors I want and use up yarn I, I want to keep. So I'm just using this. Okay. Oh, sorry. Dress. Focus. Rain. Focus. All right. We are going to... For our dress, we are going to chain 22. Okay, and then we're going to connect the last stitch to the first stitch. And what I've been doing on this pattern, it's been working quite well is I'm going to go ahead and just slip stitch right in the front of the first stitch. And slip stitch. I'm going to chain one. And then just make sure right there that your good side is facing you. We are now going to, starting in the stitch that we just slip stitched, um, we're going to do one double crochet all the way around in each stitch. So that'll be 22 double crochets all the way around. And I will meet you at the end with your 22 double crochets. Hopefully you remember to tuck that yarn. See you then. Okay, I made it around. We slip stitch to the first stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and chain one We're going to single crochet four, go back into the first stitch we were in. And four, chain five. Skip three, one, two, three. Chain eight, or oh my goodness, not chain eight, eight single crochets including the first one, one, two, three. Eight, chain five, skip two or three, one, two, three. I do that like every time. I think it's because it's my second strap and that's what I keep thinking to myself is a second strap so I'm saying two and then finish off crocheting um this time I got four a couple times back I only had two left I don't know what happened there either but we just make it work okay 
Just make it work. And I say this in my videos all the time. Don't waste your time trying to make something perfect. If this is the end of the dress right here, this is it. If it doesn't fit, we'll just make a new one, but you're not gonna throw anything off by making one extra or one less crochet. I think it's probably, I'm, I lose some sometimes because I am uh, good. I'm crocheting in the chain and I miss stuff. So this is it, that's it. Isn't this cute? So you just slip it on and then you put the, her arms in. If you wanted to make a little frilly um, at the bottom, like for example, as in um, the pig video, just flip your dress over, um, connect your yarn, chain one, and then in the same stitch, do two single crochets all the way around. You can do it in a contrast color, you can do it in the same color, and that's gonna give you um, a little frill on the bottom of that. Okay, so that is our dress. Oh, and for, so for her little emblem right here that I did, her little green flower, or whatever, that's just a magic ring with six single crochets in it. That's all that is, it's nothing fancy. Um, I, again, I just try, try to make each one of these different, loved differently and treated differently. And so that was my little zing on that one. Um, and then I just ended up actually using my three-in-one glue. And I talk about it in all my videos. I should be sponsored by them. I love this glue. Um, it's clean. It, you need very little, so you don't really weigh your project down either. So that's really nice. Um, and the ears, we are going to move on to the ears. What I did, and I do with a lot of my amigurumi that is um, malleable like this, is that if I want those ears to sit like that, like all the time, then what I do is I spray um, a starch on them and get them uh, get them really wet and then form them how I want and let them dry. Um, this is typically what I use. Um, it's called Stiffen Quick. Um, and this is what I typically use for my small, for my amigurumi, because I have it right here and it's handy, and I can just spray it on and let it dry. Um, when it gets to my bigger stuff, like my crochet bowls, um, sometimes even uh, crochet, like my baseball caps and things like that, where you want that brim to really stay, um, it does leave the product a little, it's definitely not as soft, but it's not, it's still malleable too, so it's not, it's not rock hard. Um, and it will lose its shape if you mess with it too much, but just something to throw out there, um, an idea um, on on the ears. You know, you got to love every project a little differently. And I kind of noticed it's like the way you feel that day is kind of how your project comes out. Um, in fact, the original pattern um, with that has the link below is like their hers are done like this. And I just wasn't feeling that. I guess I maybe I was just really happy. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, please feel free to experiment with your stuff and have fun, learn lessons. If you are not experimenting and doing your own things and trying new ideas, um, like even the skirt, um, the, this is what the pattern is. Um, another skirt, uh, I think I did two double crochets um, down, so it was a longer straight um, looking dress that covered more of the legs. Man, just have fun with it. And then you can be even prouder of your project because you were able to put your, you know, whole 10 cents in. <laughs> okay, enough babbling rain. All right. Now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start. If you <laughs> want to have, oh. Okay, I got a dog on high alert here, so he'll probably end up barking up again. Okay, here we go. If you want to do two separate colors like this, I'll tell you when we need to change. It's actually just going to be on round two. This is round one. This is round two. Um, if you want them a solid color, perfectly fine. Um, you can actually even do a solid color and then come back with a little bit of your um, of your paint that I do the cheeks with, and you can just kind of brush it down the middle if you don't want it to be as um, prominent as that is and you want just a touch of a different color in there. Um, so let's go ahead and chain 16. Okay. 
Now we are going to do skip the first, good, always the second. It's always the second one on the hook unless we're doing, you know, a double crochets or triples or whatever. Make sure you're never going straight in there. Now we're going to go ahead and do six single crochets down the side. Three. five and six and then we want to do eight half double crochets Six, seven, and eight. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do five half double crochets in our last stitch. Two left. Four, remember to tuck that end in. Five, wonderful. Now down the other side, we're gonna do, guess what, the same we did on this side. Let's do eight half double crochets. and eight and six single crochets okay Now, we can chain one. This is an optional thing, okay? If um, you want to chain one and um, the pattern itself says to chain one and turn your work. Um, I did not because I wanted all of the nice um, of the finished or the front look of the crochet on this outside of the ear because it wasn't folded. When it's folded, 
you want the nice part looking good in here, but the better part looking good out here. Um, you see where I'm coming from? So if you want it, if you think your ear is going to sit like th this and be folded down, more like the pattern, then go ahead and do the chain one and turn your work. Um, if you are not going to do that, then you do not um, need to chain one. We are going to go ahead and we'll just keep um, up what we need to keep up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to have to get past this part. Hold on real quick. Okay, so um, if you want all of the nice side facing, maybe make, you know, the like I say in other videos, these are so little that just enjoy it. Go ahead and try it both ways and then make one more, one more little ear. It doesn't take that long and you get experience by doing it as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, come straight over here to the first stitch and do a single crochet and five more. So we're doing a total of six. Then we want to do eight half double crochets. And that is my eighth. Now we are going to do five half double crochet increases. So two double crochets in each stitch five times. And that is going to get us around this corner. Okay, that's two. Three, four, five. Great, great. Back up this side, same as before. Eight halves. And then our six single crochets, and I'll meet you all the way at the end. All right, and that was our six single crochets that finished up the round. So as you can see, I did not chain one and go the other direction. Um, it would, it would, this pattern doesn't make a difference if you do or if you don't, but it does like to hug like this. Anyway, so that again is up to you and just to make the idea of what you would like to do. Um, you can go ahead and fasten off here. And then um, you can leave a long tail or like, you know, my other projects, just sew in one in and leave a long tail on one of the appendages, not necessarily both of them. And then we're just going to go ahead and crochet those on. Um, and you may not want to starch it as much. You might, you may not want to starch it as much. You might want to fold it in like this. Um, Whatever, however you like to do it. But anyway, that is giving you at least the structure of your um, ear, and you can just move on from there. So now we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to do these two little bows that are on her head. I also have um, this bigger bow here. We have a couple with little bows. The bigger bow is also done on the bunny. This I call the rabbit is on the bunny. But what I did was I did two of them this time and I flipped them upside down. This is the wrong side. In here is the pretty side because I just wanted a different kind of look. And this way it sort of hugged her head and I thought it gave it a really neat look with her little emblem here. See, it's just can be little teeny things that you do um, to change things up. I could flip these and really have these be like, hello, good morning, I'm ready for school, Bo. Even because of the way I made it, we could even stick it up even further. I liked it tucked. I just wanted a new kind of a tight to the head kind of a look. But I'll go ahead and show you how to make uh, that bow real quick. If you want to make two, you can make two. Um, if you don't want to make it, you know, whatever. That's how we go. That's how we roll. 
All right, chain 10. Okay, we're gonna skip the first chain. We're gonna go into the second one. We're gonna do four half double crochets down the side of our chain. There's two and three and four. Single crochet. And we're gonna go four again back up this other side. Well, yeah, the other end, I guess. If you want this a little bit bigger, like um, I showed this, showed in the video, the bunny video, um, is you can do half double crochets. Um, sub the half double crochets with uh, double crochets. Okay, there's our fourth at the very end. Whoops. So for turning, all I'm going to be doing is a chain, and I'm going to turn my work. And we're going to go back, try to tuck your yarn. We're doing four half double crochets. Again. Our single crochet. And back up another four single crochets. And then I chain one again and go ahead and slip stitch. Okay, you want to keep this tail here quite long. Um, oh no, that's the wrong one. You don't gotta keep this long at all. Okay, so we want to, um, just have enough so we can wrap it here in the center and make it into a little bow. This one we have crocheted over enough. So I'm thinking about this will be just great. Let's go ahead and pull this through. And then, of course, if you didn't want it to be on that side like that, go ahead and take your needle. Let's bring your, um, your tail down here into the middle so that we can wrap it around to create the bow. Okay. Um, for these bigger bows, I do about four or five times. This is five times and you can, uh, you can look at it and see um, if you think that that's, that's enough for you. Um, and then you can go ahead and just come back in and weave this in between here. With these smaller um, accessories like this, like hair ties and things like that, um, I usually just glue them on. Um, it doesn't seem to to come off. It's not like an ear that they're gonna a kid's gonna be carrying around um, around with it. Um, but you of course can always uh, just sew that in if you feel more comfortable. But I can just put a tad bit down in there, um, and then I don't have to worry about, 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 you could tell I don't like sewing in. I redo every pattern I can to make sure I don't have to sew a head on or arms on or feet on, legs. Let's let's go show it all, crochet it all at the same time. So um, that is our rabbit. And um, again, uh, thank you so much for joining Right as Rain Crochet. I hope you watch my other videos, and um, once again, uh, like and subscribe. <laughs>